All right. So, okay. So, obviously, uh, I'm the real Ted G. Ted, uh, your local real estate agent. Uh, and uh, the first podcast was uh, a lesson and a, a lesson to be learned for progress, a lesson to be to be learned in general. Get started. Getting started. That's the key to anything, any endeavor, whether it's real estate, real estate prospecting, uh, becoming a real estate agent, becoming a successful real estate agent. So go ahead, get getting started. Remember, the studio didn't look like this. We had boxes everywhere, but the whole purpose was to just get started. And today, I wanted to talk about something even more important and even easier to accomplish, as difficult as it sounds to get started. The easiest part of success in real estate is a C word. One, well, it's actually a three syllable word, consistency, consistency. Sorry, it's a four syllable word. So consistency, and you know, the key to consistency is consistency keeping that in mind. In real estate, and I'm sure in every career, when you're consistent, you gain success. Whether it's sending out your just listed postcards, your just sold postcards, talking to the neighborhood, something we call in real estate doing your 10, 10, 20s, which is talking to the 10 houses to the left and the 10 houses to the right and the 20 houses in front when it comes to listing a home, your neighbor just listed. Would you like to know the value of your home? Uh, whether it's putting a house into, into contract, we just got the contract for the house at XYZ Cedar Road, and we had multiple offers over the asking price, obviously in today's market, that's the norm. Uh, and would you be thinking about selling? So you're consistently telling people that you're working in real estate. Uh, and of course, sending out postcards, if you do it, if you do it to your geographic farm, be consistent. I know a lot of successful agents. I know a lot of unsuccessful agents too. Uh, But the successful ones, the differentiating thing is they're consistent, whether it's on their mailings, on their geographic farming, on their prospecting technique and consistency. When uh, many, many years ago, I, uh, I tackled expired listings and for sale by owners. The only thing I did different than anybody else, because I listed, I think, 65 of them within one year, the only thing I did that no one else in my firm did was I was consistent. I went to them. I went back to them consistently. It was only when they threatened me with a shotgun that I said, okay, he's off the list. Okay. So whether it's a for sale by owner or an expired listing, you have to be consistently pursuing them. Never lose sight of what your goal is. Uh, Never lose sight of taking some notes once in a while. Whether you're a phone call person, consistently call your sphere of influence or consistently call uh, your, your neighbors, your friends, your family, and remind them you're in real estate. Remind them that you can actually help them. Uh, be consistent, whether it's following up with your listings as well. If you promise to make a phone call every week, I think you should, I believe you should absolutely do it. The hardest thing in the world to me is making a phone call and not reporting on any event. Today, I made 10 phone calls to my clients. I wish them a happy 4th of July and told them to stay cool because it's pretty warm out there. Uh, And that was pretty much it. We did not have, you know, everything is a nice status quo today. Uh, And also be just back to consistency, whether you do pop buys or, and I'll explain what that is in a little while, your 10, 10, 20s, your phone calls or your follow-up plan. And as easy as it is to say, and stay consistent. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do and be consistent about it. So one of the things that I did uh, in my in my career to kind of keep me going was make sure you reward yourself. Uh, some people believe reward yourself after a closing, that's great, uh, but reward yourself. If you say, I'm going to uh, do this, I'm gonna follow up on the, the for sale by owners, I'm going to follow up on my what's called 10, 10, 20s. Reward yourself at the end. I don't know if it's uh, sushi uh, or whether it's a nice watch, but you know, set your little goals and reward yourself. You'll see that you'll actually become more consistent as you reward yourself. So that is 
my version of consistency. I also had one other kooky thing to say, because remember, wherever you go, there you are. I'm going to wrap it now. I think that's about it. All right. And tune into the next podcast. We'll talk about what's called a slingshot.